Hey, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about the loss of exponents. Okay? So I will be rediscussing this one because this is important for us for our discussion regarding radicals. Okay? So basically loss of exponent will deal on any given um, variable or number that will have a superscript meaning a small number above them. Okay? So um, the basic structure of a number or a letter variable with an exponent would be like this. Oh, sorry, if the brush size is too too big. Okay, let me just change this one. Okay, wait long pa. Okay, there you go. Okay, so say we have a raised to n. Okay, so this a, this a here, this would be your base number, and this n, this would be your exponent. Okay, so I think that that's it. The the base and then the exponent. Okay, and basically exponent is just simply repeated multiplication. So what do you mean by repeated multiplication? You will simply multiply that a n times to itself. So to give you a better un, um ex um better understanding for that, say we have two cube. So meaning I will multiply two three times three times and there is a common misconception this is correct but two cube being two times three this is incorrect okay why because it's not two times three but it's two multiplied thrice to itself tatlong beses okay so this would be um the basic concept of exponent okay so now the loss of exponent will give us three kinds of loss i i mean three not three kinds of loss multiple kinds of loss um the very first one that we will be discussing would be rule number one, which is what we call the product rule. Okay, the product rule. Now, under the product rule, okay, under the product rule, would uh, it would simply state that if you would have a number, okay, a variable, okay, two variables or two terms multiplied together with the same base but different exponents what you will do is you will add the exponent very basic lang for example we have this one example say we have um, 7 raised to 2 times 7 raised to 10 so what should be the answer here you just simply need to copy the base and add the exponent 2 plus 10 and it will ultimately give you 7 raised to 12. Okay, so that's it. Just add the exponent. If in any case that you would be experiencing this case, um, y is just simply in I. In any case, you will be experiencing this one. Even if they are multiple terms and it is still under multiplication, just simply do the, the product rule being copy the base and add the exponent if there is no exponent by default it is 1 okay so you will have simply x raised to 7 and y raised to 4 and that would be product rule and it's a uh, quite easy lang naman okay so let's proceed to the next uh, kind of um so the second loss of exponent being the quotient rule Okay. The quotient rule states that if I am having a raised to n divided by a raised to m, the answer would be a raised to n minus m. Whatever is on the denominator will be subtracted to our numerator. Okay. So for example, for you to get a better understanding, say we have um, a raised to 10 over a raised to 5. So the answer here would be a raised to 10 minus 5 or just simply a raised to 5. Another, another. Subtraction of the exponents, okay? Another. Say I have a raised to 7 over a raised to 10. This would be 7 minus 10. And it will give me a raised to negative 3. Does not matter whether it's positive or negative long as you are following the quotient rule being ito, this is what you will subtract doon sa taas which will in turn give you this one okay that is the quotient rule and even if even if 
even if you would have this kind of given say um, a raised to 7 over a cube and b raised to 10 okay you will only evaluate those given that demands the quotient rule 7 minus 3 and whatever is left just leave it be it will give you a raised to 4 over b raised to 10 wag niyong galawin yung hindi niyo kailangan galawin but in any case that will be b will have a partner up there like for example nagkaroon siya by any chance nagkaroon ka ng 7 here then you will have um, instead of having this you will have b 7 minus 10 okay and instead of having this you will have b raised to negative 3 okay so that would be it the the, um, the quotient rule the next one would be sorry let me get the white whiteboard the next rule would be the power of a power now in this power of a power what would be given here would be you will have a given um, variable with an exponent and you are raising that given by another exponent so the answer here would be just simply the product of them okay but this one is very different to having it like this this is not equals to sorry mali not is the equals to us this is not equals to a raised to nm okay this is in a different case and this would be discussed um, later okay so the power of a power would only be dealing with this one kapag may parentheses okay so what would happen there i will simply multiply the exponent so in this case example number one if i have say um two raised to two raised to ten okay what would happen there would be it would be two raised to twenty because there are instances na baka i-add nyo sabi nyo sir that is equal to two raised to twelve that's wrong it's not equal to two raised to twelve wrong this is correct okay so even if um you're given even if you're given would be say um um, say a fraction by any chance okay you will just simply multiply them and what is one half times ten the answer is simply five okay so that is the power of a power I hope that you got that okay multiplication of um, uh, exponents now if you may ask sir what if we are dealing with ano what if we are dealing with multiple numbers inside so it would be the same but before we go there we will uh, go to our next uh, given being i think we are number in number 4 okay our next given being the power of a product or quotient pagsamahin na natin quotient okay the power of a product and a quotient just simply states that whatever is your exponent outside and you will have a product or quotient inside you will distribute to everyone so say I have a b raised to n. So this is equal to a raised to n, b raised to n. Give the exponent to our um, products or factors inside. The same goes if I would have a over b raised to n. This is equal to a raised to n over b raised to n. Give the exponent to the numerator or the denominator. So in any case, I would have something like that. Say I have 2x raised to 7. So this would be 2 raised to 7 and x raised to 7. It's that simple. I give the num the exponent to the number and give it to the letter. Okay? Next one. Say I have um, 2xy. Like this. Say I have this is 2x over xy squared. Give it to 2. Give it to x. Give it also to y. Okay, we are not selfish, we give it to everyone inside. Okay, so this is power of a product and power of a quotient. So let me just give you an example nung um, issue kanina. What if, sir, would, it would be like this? 2x raised to 5 squared. Now in this case, if I give 2 to 2, this one, the number 2, it's okay, kasi I will have 2 squared. But if I give it to x raised to 5, what would happen? Dalawa na yung exponent niya. So, dito na papasok, uh, this is uh, where 
um, power of a power comes in. Since there are multiple exponents, I need to multiply them. So instead of having 5, I will have 5 times 2. And it will uh, ultimately give me 2 squared x raised to 10. Okay, so another one. Say I have 3y cubed over 4x raised to 5, and I have squared. So this would give me 3 squared, y raised to 6, kasi 3 times 2, and 4x raised to 10, kasi 2 times 5. I 4 squared, x raised to 10, okay? So I, um, let's have our another layer, kasi hindi na kasha. So let's have an, uh, the, la the last few um, laws of exponents. For a while, I will check kung pang ilan na tayo. So, we are in number 4. So, let's go to number 5. So, the next one, number 5. Um, number 5. We will have our 0 exponents. So, what do you mean by 0 exponent? It just simply states that if you would have a number raised to 0, it's by default 1. So, an example for that would be very stupid. <laughs> but, let's have some. Say, I have a raised to 0, the answer is 1. Say I have 10xy raised to 0, the answer is 1. Say I have x raised to 0, the answer is 1. Say I have um, 2x squared y raised to 0, the answer would be, this would become 1, so I will have 2x squared, okay? And so on and so forth. Just simply remember that whatever would be the value or uh, whatever would be the base number, okay, if it is applied to the entire base, for example, this one, if it's applied to the entire term, then everyone will be 0. But in this case, it's only applied to, one, to y. Therefore, y would be the one that will become 1. And this would leave you with 2x squared. Okay? And that would be the 0 exponent. Let's have the next one. Um, I think we're in number 6. We have the zero. I, I mean the negative exponents. Um, exponents. So when it comes to exponents that are negative, okay, uh, it's an actually not allowed in. It's an actually not not allowed in in mathematics. So we always uh, would like to express our exponents as the positive side. So how do we do that? So if we have x raised to negative n, this would become 1 over x raised to n. So mapupunta siya sa baba, it will become the denominator. Or it could be the other way around. If it is on the denominator, then it would go to the numerator. And remember, the only thing that we will transfer is the base with the negative exponent. What do I mean by that? I'm sorry, I, I, yeah, and anyways, white na yan. Eh. So anyways, so say we have... Um, 2x raised to negative 3. So what would happen here? 2 has no negative exponent, so it will retain. But this one, ba ba ba, x raised to negative 3, it would become x raised to 3. Another example. Ito na yan, final answer na yan. Say I have x raised to negative 3 and y raised to, over y raised to negative 2. Aangat si y, ba 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 si x, we will have this one. Okay? So, another example, 2 raised to negative 1, x raised to negative 3, y squared, and j raised to negative 2. So, anong ililipat natin? We will transfer this one, this one, and then this one. Okay? So, ang matitira sa taas, what, would, what we would have on the numerator is the j squared. On the denominator side, we will have 2, y squared, x cubed. So, you might ask, sir, bakit nauna si 2? It's always like that. Okay, numbers will be the first before the variables. Okay, and this would be under zero exponents. Hey, I'm sorry, not zero exponents, negative exponents. And the last one is fractional exponents. So we will have this one as our rule number seven. And this would be the last one, hopefully. Rule number seven. In rule number seven, if we have seven. Fractional exponents or radicals. Okay? So, fractional exponents or radicals will be like this. Okay? 
So if say say I have um a raised to n, and we got the n m root. Let's use m. Okay, a raised to m, and you have the n root of that. So this would be equals to a raised to m over n. This is by the way called the index, and this is the exponent. And this is of course your base. Okay, so what would happen would be the exponent will be the numerator. The index would be the denominator index. Okay, or it could go the other way around. It, if, if we have a raised to m over n, it is equal to the nth root of a raised to m. Okay, so we will try, we'll have an example of that. For example, we have this one. Let's try to convert um, 2 the square root of 2. Okay? By default, I told you that the if there is no exponent, it's 1. Okay? And in radicals, if there is no ra root, it's automatically 2. So this is equal to 2 raised to 1 half. Again, radicals will have the hidden 2. So it's equal to the, this, the blank radical. And exponents raised to 1 is equal to just the number itself. No exponent written here. Okay? So, yeah. so this would be it. Okay, another example. The cube root of x squared. So this is equal to x raised to 2 thirds. Okay, converting lang tayo. Next one. Sir, bak, paano marami? So it's okay. So we have the cube root of x, y. So this is equal to x, y raised to 1 third. Bakit? Kasi... The exponent of this is 1 and 1, or pwede rin naman silang as 1, total parehas lang naman silang exponent, so we consider them as raised to 1. And this is the exponent, numerator, index, denominator. So this would be our answer, x raised, xy raised to 1 third. Okay? And another one, say we have x raised to 5 over 6. So this would be the 6th root of x raised to 5. This is your exponent. This is your index. Okay? And our last example being um, x, y raised to um, say we have 2 thirds. So this would be the cube root of x, y squared. Or, we can have this as, remember, ito po ay power, uh, uh, product rule. Wait lang, is it product rule? Yes. Yeah, we'll just so. Product rule. No, 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 no. This is, um, power of a product. Okay? So, we have power of a product. We will have the cube root of x squared y squared. Okay? So, that would be it. If you had have any other questions regarding our video, you can check the video again, or you can ask me in our class. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.